Okay, so what we're going to do in this instance is we're going to create two forms of uh, cup. One is going to be a boring old coffee mug. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do half of the mug like that. There's one. And then I'm going to draw some guides. Hit Command R on the keyboard just so I can bring down a rule. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to drag the rule down here. And again, I'm going to go P for the pen tool. And I'm going to start to draw the edge of the coffee mug how I would like to see it. Maybe we'll do something uh, a little bit fancy. Like that. And maybe I'll do... Again, a little bit overkill. But maybe this is a design for... And let's make this the same look and feel of this one. So I've got my mug. I'm going to hide the guide, which is command semicolon or control semicolon. So I have uh, this mug. We'll do this one second. Here is the first one. The first thing I know I'm going to want to do is take off the fill color. So there's no fill color. And then I'm going to want to choose some sort of pastel color because that's what's going to help my mug stand out a little bit more and then I'm also going to increase imagine your cup sawn in half how thick do you want it so I'm going to do something like that the other thing remember when we rotated this this edge you wouldn't want to put your lips on that to drink from it so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select the round cap and also, depending on how you create this little elbow here, this little corner, what you can do is click this, and it will just round it off a little bit. All right, so that here we got straight corner and then rounded corner. So we got our first item. We're going to go Effects, 3D, Revolve. Little window will pop open. Now... I left this, <clears throat> I did it this way because we would end up with this problem. This is now a uh, paper towel holder or a paper, ta paper towel rack. <laughs> we don't want that. What we want to do is we want, instead of the left edge, we want to revolve it from the right edge. And if you draw it the other way, it will probably show up fine the first time. Um, I'm going to say at this point that this is okay. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom out. And I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Now, again, we can grab the A, press the A key on our keyboard, and we can grab these points. Let me do that again. We can grab these points, and we can change the dimensions Right, we can tilt this out a little, a little bit, make a waste paper basket, um, or a mug that's just a little bit more kind of splayed out at the top. Okay. To do the handle, uh, we can actually cheat if we want to. We could do just an oval, and then we could go to the eraser tool, scissors, chop at the top chop here and then delete grab this do effect 3d extrude very much like play-doh when we would push it through the play-doh uh, shapes this will extrude I'm going to bevel the edges to rounded so now we got something eh, is looking a bit weird because we need to play with these settings over here so we can play with the height or we can try all of these different settings I don't like that let's try five let's try wider kinda like that 
Let's hit OK. Now, if you don't like something that you've done, do not go back into here and add more because you'll be adding a second instance to it. Instead, select the item that you want to edit and then go to properties. And there you see on this, we've added no fill. Here's the stroke. Here's the opacity. And then here is the 3D extrude and bevel. All right. You can get to the same thing by going window appearance. And again, here is everything that's done to this item. To edit it, all we do is click on the effect, change it, click OK, and now we got like a chiseled edge to it. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just going to hit Command Z to undo that so it's nice and round. I'm going to put this over here and then I'm going to send it to back, which is Command Shift. Uh, open bracket and it will send it behind all right and there we have our our mug and again play with it how does it does it look right does it feel right and there's our first mug i'm going to select all command g move it up here and then i'm going to hit command 2 just to lock it so that if i accidentally hit it nothing's going to happen now let's do this fancy one fancy so again effects 3d revolve boom again we got it on the the wrong edge so that's okay just go over here right edge allow it to take effect and again what did we do wrong so it's all black so i'm going to change the fill color let's do fill to empty and the uh, stroke I'm going to change to a lighter color like that. All right. Let's have a look at it. Um, this one is, it's too skinny. All right. Maybe that will work if it's uh, copper, brass, aluminum, steel. Probably steel would be best. But I'm going to thicken this up. I'm going to go... You know, something a bit more substantial. That feels like if you drop it and it was made of uh, acrylic or plastic, it might la la last okay uh, or survive. What I'm going to do is round the cap. Watch it. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and again, we're in control, right? So we can grab just these two points here, bring it in. You know, we're in control. We could say, let's let's uh, lessen the curve here. You can play with all of these, all of these different elements of the of the foot of the glass. You're in control. All right, so we've done something new. Let's zoom out. Let's have a look. Now maybe we need a fancier handle. So on this one, let's do something like that. Like that. I'm holding down the Alt key on my keyboard just so I can kind of redirect that handle. And then we've got this. This is going off like this because of the corner. So what we need to do, the elbow, this corner here, we need to hit round. So when we hit round, it does that. Now let's go effect uh, 3D. Again, extrude, right? We're not revolving it. If we did revolve it, this is what that would look like. You know, pretty cool. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to extrude it. too wide so I'm going to cut this down I'm going to say let's see what 20 looks like let's add a rounded bevel now it's too skinny so let's add this knock this up to 30 I'm going to hit tab and what tab does is it goes to another box um, I'm going to try 40 tab 
I think I prefer this, but I'm going to do 35 because I'm going to make the handle bigger. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold the shift and just make it bigger. Let's turn this into a bit of a trophy. Let's rotate it. All right, so that's one. And let's send it command shift open bracket to send it to the back. Um, you could even um, adjust the angle of this. So let's, we've got this selected. So if I got the cup selected, we got 3D revolve. If I select in the appearance window, if I select the handle, we got 3D extrude and bevel. So we're going to adjust that. I want to make it a bit more face on. Um, so that's like that. So it's a bit more, the cup's tilted forward. So is the handle. So this is the first one. I'm just going to command shift center back. <clears throat> and then I'm going to duplicate it by holding the option. And then I'm going to transform. I'm going to uh, reflect. Hit OK. And then on this one, because it's given me some weird uh, graphic kind of thing here, I'm just going to click on extrude. And I'm going to see if by changing this setting, five, all right. Try this one. Oh, I don't. I don't have it selected. So select it, then do this. Then let's try bumping it up. I don't want it too different. That's too different. Let's try thirty-six. Thirty-four. Hmm. Thirty-five. It's not really doing too much. What we can do is not only can we. So let's put this in position. Not only can we. We'll drag a guide, command semicolon or control semicolon to turn on up the guides, or to turn on the guides. Get it looking pretty much the same. Command semicolon hide guides. And then um, for this one, we'll select both. And then over in the weight, we can also make the line thicker. Right now it's 12. We can change the line so it, it's, it's more of what we want. So look, it, it got up to 26. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Stretch it out. You know, and now we got a, a trophy. Um, arguably, the handles are a little bit thick, but that's okay. Now we got a fancy. Uh, now we got a fancy wine goblet, right? Or uh, a soda goblet, whatever you want to call it, uh, or a trophy, a sports trophy. Um, so there you go with that. Um, so create yours. Give me a couple of different versions. And um, the next project will be, uh, we'll see. Anyway, and this is just for this tutorial.